Well, welcome back. This is a cold start video, and this is a 1984 Volvo 245. We had some real Arctic temperatures uh, last night. I think we're down to negative 10, which is about as cold as it gets in this region. So I'm going to stand outside in the freezing cold in this ice cold vehicle. I'm going to tell you all about this guy. Cold starting a boxy Volvo is practically cheating. This weather is the Red Block's natural habitat. Since this is in the Cold Start playlist and probably not in the Volvo 245 playlist, if you want to know more, Desire to Know More intensifies. Right up here, playlist for much more info than anyone ever wants to know on this vehicle right here and another Volvo. Now, this one has over 95k on the clock, just under 100k on a Volvo. What a time. Um, I picked it up a few months ago. It came from Washington because these are, I want to say very rare, but unlikely here in Montana. There's not that many Volvos like these. Um, when I was looking for one in Missoula, I couldn't find one running for under 3K, and that is a rusted out claptrap Volvo. This, much nicer. You'll see in those other videos, a tree fell on this, and so the roof is dinged up quite a bit, And but inside it looks pretty good, pretty clean, and she runs really good. So this thing's going to start. Anyway, tree fell on it. They popped out the roof, they painted it with some house paint, and surprisingly, it doesn't look absolutely terrible. Now, repairs I've done to the thing. The only real repairs has been uh, ball joints on it, and both lower ball joints have been replaced, and easy work. This isn't my first Volvo. I've had some, these are always a joy to work on. Anything on these things can be done with hand tools, anything. She got a new water pump. She also got all new belts, including the timing belt. The timing belt was overdue. I was looking on the maintenance for timing belts on these guys, and I believe it's, what is it, 45,000 miles and needs a timing belt. And I know that goes against, I guess, modern convention where people are routinely running 100,000. Maybe it's different on newer belts with newer materials. Well, this timing belt was definitely, uh, had some evidence that she was ready to let loose. On this episode of Seconds to Disaster, So that and all the belts got done. She's got the Euro spec wiring. Every observable wire under the hood is cracking. I'm surprised not shorted already. That is nice. The Euro spec wiring. She's got new plugs and wires or newer plugs and wires. But as you can see there, that's about done for. At least they gooped up this battery terminal really good. Looking here, I'm probably overdue to retighten it. Yeah, pretty loose, not squealing, so don't matter to me. Looking down here, also pretty loose, not squealing. Fan clutch looks good. I need to wrap this header, because that is, uh, here, evidence that this is actually a cold, cold start. So I need to wrap this header. As you can see, it doing a number on these wires and I thought I'd protect it with some just stuff here but because these are super brittle and that rubber there is super brittle and there you can see the wires separating there well let's start this thing oh, oh I love that cold leather I think I need to do something about the lock set. Uh, sometimes the pin falls down and you don't. Twelve point two volts. Things are looking up. Twelve point one. Heater off. All right. And of course, in this cold, all the lights are. Off. Let me move this so you can see all the lights. All right. Other upgrades I did. I installed the tack. It came off the clock. I had to get a uh, different gauge cluster. So let's see. It's time that you guys had the full Volvo driving experience. Sorry, it's just this future is way too bright.
Yes, it's a Volvo 245 in its natural habitat. <laughs>